Hey guys, this is the Sci-Fi Super Show, episode 6. Last time we talked about Alien, Predator, and I think I referenced The Room one time. Uh, I wasn't here last week. Yeah, it was Will in Houston. I think you, yeah, you talked about, yeah, a little bit maybe. And we talked about Lord of the Rings. Let, let us never yeah. forget The Room. It's just, it's just we can't forget. Lest, why, lest we forget it. It's, why, it's, why, why, sh- why not? Uh, we should forget the room. The sag- well, it's, it's, sh- it's, up there with, it's up there with like I think we should. I think it's we not- should just forget about it. No, I think I think that's something that was Tony's his name. Hey, Tony. <laughs> no, no, no. It was um, uh, Tommy was so. <laughs> Tommy was so, <laughs> and he was talking to Mark. Oh, hi, Mark. Oh, hi, Mark. All right. Anyway, let's not talk <laughs> about that. <laughs> let's not talk we about that. It. We've been mentioning that like once a podcast. I, I, yeah. My, I am your host, Nick Tudor, also known as Nick Stenz, and with me today is Will Powell, again, hey. from last week, and Logan Sowers. Twice. How are you all doing? They can't answer you, Logan. Oh, well, hello there. <laughs> because they're dead. I would hope not. How are they dead if they're listening? They're undead. What are those three dots on your chest? I don't know. I don't understand that, but someone does. Predator fans will know it. Oh, well, there you go. I've never, I've seen Predator 2. With Danny yeah. Glover. Mm-hmm. I only watched it for Danny Glover, not for Predator. Oh. Every time Predator came in the room, I would close my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, anyway, so a lot of news today in the sci-fi world, but uh, apparently Logan here doesn't like any of it. Huh. Hey, at all. So uh, that guy. Our first topic today is is uh, the Batman and versus Superman movie that's coming up soon. It's true. And the trailer that's coming out uh, this week. Dude, I don't Thursday. I don't hate either of those. Thursday, I think, is when uh, the trailer's coming so out. Today so today for you all. Today when you're listening to this, yeah. Yeah. When you're listening to this, it could be up right now. What? For all we know, if they're listening to this right now, it could be up right now. That's true. That's true. It could mm-hmm. be out right now. So and if it is, go look. A open, a... An, open another tab and look right now. Make sure yeah. you're using Explore and not Chrome or Firefox Why or Safari. Why aren't you doing it? <laughs> Once again, Do Logan it. is that guy. I he love uses Explore. Explorer. Come on, Chrome is much better. Chrome, Chrome is better? Chrome, Chrome is vastly is better. the perfect browser. No! It I is. have accepted my Google Overlords wholeheartedly. When I Only go because to... of Chrome, not Google+. Plus. No, Google, Google Plus, Plus sucks. Hate Google, it with a passion. Why, why would you ever have a Google Plus? For YouTube, I have I to I know, have yeah, it. exactly. It's like, this is ridiculous. I don't need a Google Plus, but oh. I have to for YouTube counts. Yeah. I, uh, when, I, when I'm on Chrome, when I have to use Chrome for mm-hmm. whatever purpose, I, instead of just typing something into the search bar, I yes. will just go to Google.com and type it into their search bar. But you can do it there because it's Google Chrome. But I don't want to, because I like... Ad block formality. The perfect Ad block. thing yes. for doing anything illegal. Yes. I completely completely agree with that. Not it's that like, we condone it. I want to stream some weird anime. Not get ads we, for porn. Come on. Uh, I just want to say this again. We do well, not condone this, but we do do it. <laughs> who said we did it? I didn't say we did it. What? No. Of oh, course okay. Not. Oh, okay. Let's just get to this topic now. Of course not. <laughs> All right. So, Batman vs Superman is coming out sometime in the summer, I believe. Uh, I have no, no, no. I think it's. I don't know. I think I it's coming know. out next year. Was there a comic? It's, it's book? a while out. I think. Was there a comic book? I'm sure that Batman yeah, and Superman fought point. a lot in the comics. Who typically won? Uh, I think everybody would have thought Superman, but I think Batman won a lot of the times because he was so smart. He found a way around it. In fact, Batman is very smart. Yeah, it mm-hmm. comes out next year, 2016. Okay. So, um, and apparently there are so many ways that Superman... Apparently, who would win between Batman and Superman? The age-old question. Mm. Um, it depends on what, what, what... It depends on the circumstances. It, it really does, it does, to be honest. Um, the thing about Superman is, is that he's basically indestructible. Yeah. It's like... He's wimpy against a piece of rock, but mm-hmm. he's basically in But there are other small weaknesses that he does have. There are small weaknesses, and a lot of those are uh, employed in weird... Other but here's the thing. Batman places, is smart but... enough to find them. And, That's true. And use them. And, but, I mean, Batman always carries a piece of kryptonite, just mm-hmm. in case he needs to take down Superman. Yeah. Okay, um... I have two videos to show Will and Logan of five ways Batman could beat Superman, but 50 ways, literally 50 ways, Superman could beat uh, Batman. 
You don't even have to show the video. I mean, it's, no, it's relatively it's, it's, simple. It's funny. I want to show you this. So I'm going to pause the podcast, and we will be right back. All right, we're back, and we just watched two videos on Batman versus Superman and Superman versus Batman. What do you guys think? There's no What's, contest. Once again, I mean, it's basically... Superman is completely indestructible. Yeah. He is the man of steel. I mean, he cannot be defeated, basically. Yeah. But there versus are those... Versus Batman, who is completely mortal and has no powers. Yeah. But, now, see, here's my question. We want to talk about... Batman versus Superman, who would win? Yeah. Here's my question. New movie coming out, right? Mm-hmm. Who's going to win? Oh, I don't know. We're going to have a tie. Really? I you think say... they're going to do that big of a I'll... cop-out where there's a tie? Go, think, they're probably think... going to gonna have a really lot, lots of awesome fighting scenes, and yeah. they're going to end it with a tie. That way, they don't have to make a decision. I think in the past... I think you're right, Logan. In the past... Uh, Batman, I believe, has beaten Superman more often than not just because that is what people like to see. Mm -hmm. They like to see the man who has no powers, Mm -hmm. who uses his intelligence, basically, to fight. I have a feeling that Superman... To beat the Man of Steel, the one who has every single power. I have a feeling in this movie, Superman will brutally beat up Batman. But not, sure. but not like That's... put him in a comatose state or kill him. He'll just be like, "I'm no, done probably fighting." Should be. He'll be like, "I'm done fighting. I'm out of here." I, I, and I, then Batman will be like, that, "I'll that, get you one day." That 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 video has put me in a state where I don't. I'm not sure I'm a Batman fan anymore. <laughs> I I love Superman Batman's so much now weird. because he can just punch his head off. <laughs> So many he, times. Left cry job, left hand cry job, <laughs> right hand cry job. I mean, we watched videos from Mr. Sunday movies. In case you don't know what we're talking anything about, anything Superman so watch does those on YouTube will kill him. I, I never thought about that. Superman no, yeah, could easily course. kill him. Yeah, like, what, like Batman is exactly like every single other human. He could go mm-hmm. back and make so he wasn't even born. He could just fly up into space and outlive him. And, I know. Just, <laughs> and the, the fact that DC <laughs> has has gone and through the comics has done so many things. That have given Superman so many powers. He can basically do anything. He can do anything he wants. Anything. It's, it's, it's like there are there are only a couple of occasions in DC history where Superman has been beaten, and mm-hmm. not always by Batman. No, Doomsday yeah. killed him. Yeah, Doomsday yeah. killed him. I mean, but uh, Doomsday is pretty much the strongest call, villain in DC. You could just call Batman to help him find Doomsday and leave. <laughs> <laughs> that was great. That's so awesome. <laughs> I, I swear, at one point in time, but Flash hey, Wonder Woman actually beat Superman. But Wonder Woman that's is stronger. True. That's true. That is a fact. If you're playing, I love if you're playing. Uh, if you're playing. Um, uh, Injustice, God's Among Us, and you're Superman, there's pretty much n- nobody else except Aquaman can beat you. And Ares. Ares. Ares is he has the bows, but like Superman, you just go up and like slam you down, and then slam you down, and then slam you down. He just keeps slamming you down. Ares has like personally, the long I, sword. Personally, I hate, I really hate Injustice, just because one, I'm not a fan of fighting games. Mm-hmm. So Mortal Kombat X, which just came out, Mortal mm-hmm. Kombat 10, not gonna get it, not a big fan. Yeah. But. The, uh, the, what? I love Aquaman so much. The, the, uh, the, the thing is that I don't think that those are actually, like, fair fights. Because it's, it's kind of down to, one, your skill as a fighter, and then, two, luck of the draw. Yeah. If somebody gets you pinned in a corner, you will lose that fight. Plain and simple. That's so, unless works. you're Superman. So, let me wrap... Doesn't matter. So, let me oh. get this completely straight. We all agree that Superman would easily beat Batman. Easily. If yes, he really wanted but, to. I think this movie will have Batman beating Superman. If you think about it, I think most, that's how uh, most of the goes. fights between those two, Batman has kind of had the upper hand. I mean, yeah, because, and once again, that's because comic writers know, and the people who make these movies and mm-hmm. stuff, know that everybody wants to see Batman, the man who is just like them, who is completely mortal. Mm-hmm. Beat the guy with all the powers. Uh, here's the thing: with the movies, they may add a new twist yeah. that we never expected. Yeah. I mean, I don't, I don't see it. I think, I think a more even match would be Batman versus Spider-Man. Oh, what like Goku versus Vegeta, no. where it's completely even no, no, for no, no. like Batman, ten hours. Batman versus Spider-Man. Think about that. Batman versus Spider-Man. It'd be we're gonna, we're gonna cross. Uh, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. This episode. No, no, no. never cross the streams, bro. You, you have to. 
I mean, I do want to talk about that there specifically. Lot, there are a lot. Day. There are a lot very similar. They both had. Both of their parents were killed. What a, well, a, a better, better question. A better Spider-Man question. Didn't get killed. They died though, right? No, a better. Yeah, they qu- died. He's, a better his, question uh, is Daredevil or Batman. See, that's that's, that's, a one. that's the interesting one because Daredevil is Marvel's dark superhero, he is. like Batman. Even though most people think that Iron Man or Tony Stark is Bruce Wayne, yeah, it's like. But Daredevil is Batman, not Bruce yeah. Wayne. Like just yeah, Batman. Daredevil. Daredevil has both the fighting skills mm-hmm. and the kind of moral sense of justice yeah. that comes with being a superhero like Batman. Yeah. I think that would be an interesting fight. Did you watch Daredevil on Netflix? I did. I watched the entire season. Bro. It is so good. Yeah. I loved it's fantastic. it. fantastic. I cannot I, wait for the second yeah. season. Man. I love Daredevil. Daredevil is I was one not a, of my favorite superheroes. I was not a big fan going into it, and but they, I love him They now. demolished him in that the, the movie that we won't ever talk about ever again because what this movie? show was what? so it had good. Had Carmen Electra what in movie? it. What movie? What movie? I don't know what you're movie? talking about. <laughs> My favorite superheroes are Batman, Spider Man, Aquaman, a- now Aquaman, and probably it was Captain America, but I think they kind of ruined him with the movies. What? Really? I hate the movies. Really? Come They're on. better than the Avengers. Come on! Wow, these that's movies, a bold These movies claim. have set me against Marvel. What? No, these movies really? are awesome. Really? They're huh. getting better too. No, that's true. They only get better. They're overly popular. That's the only reason. So just because so other just people because like them. Logan has to be the hipster. <sighs> that's not that okay. happening. You have to be the obscure it's just, guy. I'm just turned off on things that everyone's freaking the out about. The indie player over there. The documentary watcher. Yeah. I knew I lots of people anyway, like documentaries. No. Um, and me too. If we're going to rank superheroes, like my favorite superhero is probably Iron Man. Uh, Iron uh, followed good. by The Flash. Mm-hmm. Uh, I hate The Flash. The fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> anyway, I don't like um, sassy people. He's too sassy. Did you, how do you like Spider Man? Spider Man is just kind of quiet. Then, no, he's then Daredevil, then Spider Man, but only the Spider Man as he would have been portrayed by Andrew Garfield or a but Toby, or some Toby Maguire, good. He was good. He I liked him, but that he's was not terrible. as good. He was, was not terrible. as good. Those movies awesome. were bad. I liked him because I grew just up with him, but bad. I. It was but, great. I hated it. Andrew movies. Garfield's better, and I hope Andrew the MCU's Garfield, better. Andrew Garfield's Spider Man was way better and much more reflected the Spider Man that you see in the comics, which is who I like. As compared to I mean, Toby McGuire. Uh, you had a uh, news story earlier, didn't you, that ha- said that the MC Universe. Uh, Oh yeah, yeah, Spider Man yeah. is gonna be. It's gonna be classic. It's gonna it's, be Peter Parker. It's gonna be Peter Parker. It's, it's gonna, gonna be, be much more witty. Witty, which is exciting because yeah. I love Spider Man because my, of the fact. Okay, that it's my witty. top three favorite superheroes is in order: Spider Man, Iron Man, and probably uh, I would say. Actually, this is tough. I didn't think this through. Spider- <laughs> Spider-Man. Oh, Spider-Man, Iron Man, and Wolverine. Wolverine. Interesting. Yes. I think. I think. I think now I'm going to have to say that my favorite Superman is probably now Superman because he can just punch Batman. Your head favorite off. Superman is now Superman. My favorite superhero is now Superman. Okay. No, it really is this Batman. It's Batman, Spider-Man, maybe Superman. Uh, Superman's a dick. I really, I really love the. I, I, I really love the Justice League. So. Okay. I've always liked DC so, more than Marvel. All right, so we're done with that topic for this week. Because that would go on and on. That would absolutely go That's on. That's all I know how to talk about. Nah. <laughs> nah. All right, so next one, Will, you wanted to see this, is the Jurassic World sneak peek scene at yeah. uh, describing Chris Pratt's character. Heck yeah. Which Chris Pratt was um, Star-Lord in Guardians of the Galaxy, which you do know, Logan. Don't deny it. No, I no. Okay, good. Okay. So you'll know I, him. I, I, I don't know him. Huh. You di- oh, okay, shut up. <laughs> but you did. You did watch him in Parks and Rec. I've never even heard of that show. You've watched Logan, all don't of the lie. seasons. All right, I, so, I haven't seen all of it. So I'm going. No? I'm going. Have you not seen the last season? Mm-mm. So this is Tom Kenny, the uh, voice of SpongeBob. He's all here. right. So I'm going to pause the podcast so I can show him the scene. Indeed. So we're back again, and we just watched the Jurassic World Chris Pratt scene called "They're Alive." Yeah, and that that was that was fantastic. I love seeing Chris Pratt in anything. Chris Pratt's he's, great. He is great, but um, he's only him, really. Yeah, Logan he's like Tom said, Cruise. Logan said before that before we started uh, restarted the podcast mm-hmm. that uh, 
Chris Pratt only ever plays himself. Yeah, which plays is himself. It's completely accurate. It is. Like, absolutely. Chris Pratt is Chris Pratt in everything he does, whether mm-hmm. it is Andy Dwyer or And it works. Star Lord. It absolutely People like works. It. I hope he, I hope it works. Here's a movie that Nick hasn't seen, but he really should see. Mm-hmm. Dawn of the Planet of the Apes. I will never see that movie. It's a fantastic oh movie. I'm sorry, I'm just not a fan. Was it Rise of the Planet? Rise of the Planet. It was Rise. Rise. I will. I just don't. I don't care for it. It's, it was the best movie I, don't I care saw for all that year. franchise. It was so it, far. It was better than Guardians of the Galaxy. No, no. it was. It was. For no. Me. no, no, way better. Nobody thought that. I did. Alex Besides did. you, Alex doesn't count. Two to three, Logan. Majority vote. Guardians wins. Yeah. <laughs> Democracy doesn't determine art. You want to fight? You want to fight over it? I think, you, uh, I, think popular, I think popular opinion determines art. And, not, not really. Well, some uh, it's individual, I guess. I, yeah, I guess. But in movies, popular opinion, and popular opinion it's says... everything. The popular Guardians of the Galaxy it. was fantastic. Po- popular opinion determines if they'll make another one. That's true, and they are. Yeah. They're making a lot more of those than they are of Planet of the Apes. I love Which I think Planet are done, Apes. actually, aren't they? I think there's going to be one more. Is there one more? There's going to be, like, a lot more, though. Of Guardians. Planet. Yeah. Well, there's going to be at least one more Planet of the Apes, because the last movie is where the people... Because... And the people were finally beat out. Because okay. Guardians are going to be in Infinity War, I have a feeling. Oh, um, yeah. Yeah, of course. That's And they have another... They, they have one of the gyms. They have to be in Infinity that, War. Ab Nova Corps has it. They don't. Uh, it's it's the same thing. Kind of. Uh, watch I mean, it again. It's in space, okay? In space, no one can hear you scream. I'm sorry. No, in I'm space, sorry. that means we're going to be dealing with the Guardians. And Plain we're going to scream simple. for joy. I don't know. All right, uh, so no anyway, I just wanted to show Will that, and it was awesome. No, I have yeah. a feeling that movie's going to be I think, great. I think Chris Pratt's character is going to be perfect for that mm-hmm. movie. Definitely. Just seems like that guy. He is. He is the perfect character. It'll be, I guess one movie that I am going to go see, but... Uh, You're going to go see with us. Probably. Yeah. If I can. Um, that's just going to be great. But... When's that coming out? Uh, June 12th. June 12th. Yeah. Uh, so we've got Age of Ultrons before that. Age of Ultrons. Now it's yeah, appealing to me. It just isn't. Really? Have, 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 have you seen it? any of the trailers, like when they're trying to lift Thor's hammer? No, but I wasn't. I didn't like the Avengers that much. Of course, that's about Civil War, and it's not about. Now, my, my favorite Marvel, True. my favorite True. Marvel movie. Wait, wait, wait! Did you? Oh, I'm sorry, Logan, but did you see the extended part of them trying to lift the hammer? Bruce yes. Banner tried to lift it, <laughs> not as the Hulk, but himself, and he yeah. got really angry at it. Yep. <laughs> my, like, wait my, a second! Don't, my don't, favorite, do, that. don't do it. <laughs> my favorite Marvel movies. Okay, Guardians of the Galaxy is my favorite Marvel movie. Mm-hmm. Then next is the, the Captain America series. Hmm. Interesting. And then Iron Man. Iron Man is great. And then, I love that. Iron Man is my favorite Marvel. And, movie. I and like then, Iron Man and 3. And then the which Wolverine. Whoa, nobody what? liked. I loved Iron Man 3. No. Iron Man 3 was fantastic. It was great. Because it, showed, is terrible. it showed that Tony is still Iron Man without the suit. That is it, the importance of that movie. Oh, sure. Iron, by taking Iron out his arc reactor and destroying all of his suits uh, and causing and apparently making be, him out to be a distraction. I was, can't was it War wait. Patriot? Iron Patriot. Iron Patriot is way better than War Machine. Uh, Are you what? <laughs> okay, okay. After, after, so, so, uh, so, Guardians of the Galaxy, Captain America, Iron Man. I want you to comment. The, see wo- if I- the Wolverine series, and okay. then finally Avengers. Okay, I, what? Okay, I want. And maybe X Men. Maybe X Men above. You're, the if Avengers. you're okay, if you're listening to this, I want you to comment down below and see. If okay, comment for Iron Patriot or War Machine. I want to know. It's Iron Patriot. I want to know what you guys think. Even though it's War Machine. Avengers was a good movie. Avengers was good. But it wasn't, like, the perfect movie to end all movies. That I'm was feeling Guardians, it actually. will be better but since they know what they're doing now. I think Age of Ultron will things. be a very good movie. Oh, yeah. It's going to be interesting, though, because, I have a feeling like, it'll be a bit darker, too, with everybody kind of going separate ways. I mean, sure, but there's, there's the interesting idea that Tony doesn't have any suits. That's a fact. Except Hulkbuster. And the one that's inside the Hulk Hulkbuster. Hulk Hulk that's that's shown in the trailers, but as yeah. far as we know, he doesn't have any suits anymore. As of right now. Yeah. Before the movie. Before the movie. Yeah. So we don't know what's so going to happen. So he could actually just make one. I mean, sure, he might make one that's in the movie. That's what happened the first time. Awesome. Actually, to see that again. What would be cool would is if it. in the beginning of the movie, he's trying to figure out a way for the Iron Man suit to go on without his arc reactor. Yeah, because That'd his be arc cool. reactor is what powers it. 
and he but just it has threw gone it. now, right? He actually yeah, he gone. got it's gone. he cut it out and got Elvis shrapnel removed, and so he's let's, a human let's again. appreciate the fact that Jeff Bridges was human, in the first Iron Man yeah. movie. He was Iron Monger. He was Iron. <laughs> <laughs> Good actor in that one. He's a fantastic actor. No, mm-hmm. Age of Ultron is going to be fantastic. Oh yeah, it's I be can't great. wait. That's May first. Uh, something like that. Yeah, it's coming up very soon. Okay, so wait. If it's May first, that comes out before the Destiny, uh, the Destiny. It does DLC. It does. Which yeah. that's interesting. And also, I think smack dab in the middle of finals week. If I'm correct. <laughs> yes. Which, well, there goes studying. <laughs> I'll be studying. Uh, I, I don't really just study that much for finals. Okay, so we talked about Batman versus Superman. Friday Jurassic before. World. Friday oh. before. Finals and week. Age of Ultron. All right, so we got the what the. Okay, so we got the news topics out of the way. Now it's time sure. for debates, which we did kind of have one we already. Have one already. With Batman yeah. had Superman. Uh, Logan, I know you haven't seen Predator. No, but you have seen Predator Two, the yes. first half. Yes, I haven't seen Predator. You haven't at all. seen any Predator. No, I have no idea. Mission after Aliens, watch Predator. Okay. Mission. Mission. Um, it's Mission. like a, it's a bounty. Do it. Yes, I will do it. All right, so. Step. But we all know, in fact, I have a NECA Predator figure here for reference. Um, the Predator has these blades on his arm. Okay. Yes, he yeah. does. And Logan, you saw, you. when was the last time you did see Predator 2? It's not too long ago. I, mean, it's just, I, know the, I know they're pretty strong. Okay, but do you remember the scene where they go to a scientist with a piece of the Predator's weaponry? I think so. And, they, and she says that it's made of nothing... Like, it's made of no element that's found on Earth. That means it is stronger. Because it cuts through... It, no, it cuts through extremely easily through m- every metal All right. in that movie and in the first one. Alright. Um, it's basically the same thing with adamantium. It can only be malleable when it's superheated. That's true. And yeah. the, you saw this at the end of Predator, where the yeah. Predator took off, like, his uh, laser... Um, his... His uh, laser pointers, if you okay. want to call them that, and he like waved them across his blades, and he stretched them out. Nice, yeah, that's cool. Which, um, which conveniently fit around uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger's neck. <laughs> nice. <laughs> um, but uh, and we all know uh, Marvel's medals, like adamantium. <laughs> Marvel's medals. Uh, well, that's true. The, adamantium. The... That's uh, Wolverine's skeleton and his claws yeah, made out. Yeah, yeah. And vibranium, which is Captain America's shield. Which I thought it was an alloy of adamantium and uh, vibranium, but I could be wrong that, about that one. That's what I thought too. But um, in fact, Ultron is just is going to coat himself in vibranium. Cool. And because Adamantium is with X Men and X Men is not owned by Marvel, that is true as well. They yeah. can't use that. They can't use Adamantium. They Which might sucks. soon. Everything should all be owned by one company, mm-hmm. and it should be called Marvel. Yeah, because this is their shit. They own it. Mm-hmm. Come on. Oh, and the, the new Fantastic Four movie too. Yeah, the, didn't like the, those movies very much. The new Fantastic Four movie uh, and the uh, the the Deadpool movie as well. Oh yeah, Ryan Reynolds is coming back as it, which I don't trust it. I do. I think it's going to be great. <laughs> um, but okay, so for all Predator fans, we know how strong they are. They can cut through most of anything. Okay. Yeah. Um, if Wolverine were to fight a Predator, who would win? And dis- disregard this- his healing. Is this a debate of if we're disregarding his healing? I mean, there's there's a lot of things that could happen, but. Mm-hmm. Um, is this a debate of whether an alien, or not an alien, a predator, predator or a, a wolverine would win, or a debate whether which would win in a battle of their claws? Their claws. Okay, so... Um, don't, blades... don't, don't forget that Predator is, like, a skilled hunter. He's, like, he's a... What he is. Any, any Predator that's on Earth is a veteran hunter. That's, alright. But, so is Wolverine. That's yeah, true. That's He's true. like hundreds of He'd years old. Like, Wait, you some yeah. kind of goddamn lizard. You know hey, Bob. I'm mean? <laughs> gonna fight you with my claws. I don't think you would say that. The, the where, 90s is, where do you stand? Where do you stand? I, uh, I think, I think versus Wolverine would win. I think, well, not this Predator I have here, but say like... <laughs> one of your 38, you know. Say like this guy here with the two blades. He's got okay. the Aquaman skin going on there. Yeah. 
um, with the two blades. Two um, blades. He, so blades on either hand. That's yeah. true. If, so if, if he only had Wolverine, if he only had more, one, Wolverine. if he only had one blade, the Wolverine could easily take him out. I mean, the thing about Wolverine, uh, Wolverine's blades mm. are adamantium, but they're also bone. That's true. And in um, uh, comic knowledge, um, it's apparent that uh, one strong metal like adamantium can cut adamantium. Yes, which is really, really complicated. Yeah. When you get down to everything um when you get down to anything actually mm -hmm. but i'm not sure who would win because like i know that adamantium in the marvel universe mm -hmm. is the strongest material on earth yes and i think it's even been proven that it can cut through most alien metals that are also in the marvel universe that is true i mean if you're gonna mm -hmm. and once again we're crossing the streams which is a yeah, dangerous thing to it do it is very things dangerous are, things get confusing but if you're going to go off of that basis, mm -hmm. it's quite probable that uh, adamantium could cut through anything that the predators could throw at it. That's now, true. Take, if you do take the healing into account, that just gives him one If you one take step the healing up. into account, then Wolverine can heal yeah. every throughout everything. He also has an adamantium skeleton. Yeah, it's like so. Unless you cut off his head. Well, yeah, he's dead then. Yeah, yeah, the predator can do that. <laughs> So can Wolverine. Well, you'd have to cut... First, you'd have to cut through his spine, which is made of adamantium. That's true, but he has a... Predator has a a, a, a disc called a smart disc that, when thrown, can easily just cut through anybody's neck, whether it's metal or just somebody's neck, like a hot knife through butter. Just, like, instantly. Of course, that that's that's also assuming Also, that... he can just hold it and just dig into it. Well, yeah, once again, though, that's a, this is assuming that uh, predator metals could break through adamantium. That is that's a good point. We don't actually know. There's no, them, so we can't compare. Which one's I more say, angry? Which one's more Wolverine. angry? Probably Wolverine. Probably Wolverine. Every time, Wolverine is always the one that's more angry. Yeah. Even unless you so ins unless you insult him. Which so probably more that's, angry. That is the first thing Wolverine would do, and oh, we yeah. all know that is as a fact. <laughs> and then the predator would just be like. You want to go? You want to fight? And Wolverine would, of course, take him up on that because yeah. this is how this works. And if you know classic Wol Hugh Jackman Wolverine, he'll just dive into him like with his hands out in front of him That's and where just Hugh dig Jackman, it. Hugh Jackman's Wolverine is Wolverine. He is Wolverine. Like they they nailed the comics perfectly. Mm -hmm. Like there's no question there. Just like Keanu Reeves is Superman. No. Who's playing Superman? Isn't it Ke Keanu Reeves or is it the other guy? I'll look it up. Well, we'll be looking up because I don't know it. it. It's either he he might be playing Batman. It's either Keanu Reeves or uh, Ben Affleck. Ben Affleck. Ben Affleck is Batman. Ben Affleck's Batman. I don't know who's playing Superman. It is uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Obviously, yeah, yes. He'd be Christian Bale, but probably <laughs> Christian Bale as Superman fighting Batman. <laughs> no, no, Christian Bale should be Batman. <laughs> Henry Cavill. Henry oh, he is playing Superman. Yeah. Okay. And that that is that's in Batman vs. Superman Dawn of Justice. Okay. So the new movie that's coming out. Okay. So Where is she? Sorry, so that was the Adamantium. What about Vibranium? Captain America's Shield. Um Once again, uh Now if Wolverine had Captain America's Shield. No contest. No, yeah, there's no contest. But there are a number of <laughs> there are a number of occasions in the past, in the comics and other mm -hmm. series, where Captain America's shield has been destroyed, like torn in half. I mean, not even just torn in half, like splintered, like just completely really? just destroyed. And they just but don't I make him a new. Remember one, in the trailer of Age of Ultron that it is cut. In half. It is. That's an interesting thing to note. But again, it's going back to metal versus metal in Marvel, Apparently, which Ultron is. Yeah. Vibranium. Apparently, metal versus metal, vibranium breaks vibranium. Which makes sense that you would need a sword, not a shield. Yeah. Of course, if you're just fighting against normal metals, like bullets, then you mm -hmm. have nothing to worry about. Logan, what do you think of this? I have no opinion. No opinion? Captain no opinion. America's shield versus Predator's claws. Oh, the shield. The shield, really? You think yeah. the shield would... You'd... Okay, here's a question. Would the shield and the claws just cancel out? So they would just bounce off of each well, other, it, or would the would the claws would the it would probably would, just cut and spark cut and, and cut spark. the paint. Okay, yeah. just cut the paint. 
it wouldn't like actually um, break the predator's claws. Actually, it might break this part where the, they the come out where because they're, they're this out. is not that. Yeah. The rest of the armor is. Wolverine's well, claws are also part of him. That's another thing. That gives That's them, true. That's um, true. That gives them a if bit they, more. All they have to do is just cut the gauntlet. Yeah, or that's like true. Destroy just it. cut the gauntlet off and then you have or cut his arm off and they've got it. Yeah, I've got that and, too. And if, yeah. and if Wolverine woke up on the wrong side of the bed, he's just nobody yeah. wants to mess no, with that. No it way. could be bad for for a predator. In fact, I think Wolverine almost killed the Hulk. <laughs> <laughs> that's not. I don't think that's all that hard to do, though. That's true. He could just literally just jump up on his head and slice his head. You agree? But Hulk this. can also heal. Hulk can also heal. That's true. Not if his head's not gone. A, not, Not at a fast. healing rate that Wolverine that of Wolverine can. or Deadpool. But go but... back to like the twenty, the two thousand three, um, Eric Bana movie. Mm -hmm. um, that Hulk healed pretty quick. That's true. He was like blown up by a nuke and only left with a scar, and then it healed up really quick. Well, I mean, he's literally made of radiation, so yeah. a nuke's not going to do a whole lot. Yeah. But you know what? Will well, uh, actually, you're right because the Predator has a nuke on his arm. <laughs> Does he really? Yeah, he does. That's how, what happens at the end of the movie. What the fuck, man? Spoilers, I'm sorry. He just... <laughs> but literally, Arnold Schwarzenegger wins, of course. Of course. But... He has to. The Predator's that's, trapped that's under, and he's staring... The Predator is unmasked. He's, like, under a log. He's bleeding, and he's just staring at Arnold Schwarzenegger. Arnold Schwarzenegger's like, what the hell are you? And then the Predator... The and then the Predator you? just growls at him and says, what the hell? And repeats it back to him, nice. and then he just looks, and he just squints and looks away, and he like slowly moves his hand over and just um, starts the bomb. And Arnold Schwarzenegger, Arnold Schwarzenegger is like, "What's going on?" And then the Predator's like, <laughs> and he starts laughing because he heard somebody else laughing, oh, and God. then he runs and he's laughing while literally a nuke goes off and <laughs> destroys like half the forest. Wow. Impressive. Yeah. Pretty While he's cool. laughing. So it's pretty freaking funny, but awesome. Would that affect the Hulk or adamantium or vibranium? I have no idea. I don't think so. I don't think a nuke can... I mean, a, a nuke might superheat the uh, vibranium or mm -hmm. adamantium, but I don't think it would actually like destroy it. Mm -hmm. It might leave it in a different shape. Mm -hmm. But also, if you're taking into account Wolverine's claws, yes. they are a an alloy of bone and adamantium. That's true, and uh, so they when, probably won't melt. And in the in the the movie The Wolverine, where yeah. his claws were cut off, they regenerated in the bones. Yeah, he would be able to cut through the bones. That's true. Yeah, but then they would regrow. Yeah, again, healing. See, we can't compare the two because they're yes, so different. It's so it's yeah, that's 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 why you never cross the streams. Okay, so we've had so we had a lot of debates this week, yeah. and I'm still confused on a lot of them. <laughs> um, There's no answer for a lot of them. I know it's true. So this was the Sci-Fi Super Show with Nick, Will, and uh, Logan. Did you almost call me Houston? I almost called. Do you I Houston. look like I'm from Texas? Yes. What? Well, you yeah, like Logan. From, actually, you do. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. You look like you're. I don't know where you're from. I'm probably from here. I've never been. Oh yeah, so anywhere. am I. Why do I live well, here? You're from Texas. Texas. Yeah, my family. <laughs> my family's been in Kentucky since there's been a Kentucky. Oh whoa, that's probably true. Um, but yeah, this was the Sci-Fi Super Show episode six. Next week we will probably talk about um, Superman versus one of the strongest characters ever, and that being Godzilla. Whoa. No contest. So, wins. Uh, we, oh, no, we will get into that next week. So, see you next time on episode seven. See you later.